So we're going to be talking a little bit about prism and how we use them in neuro-ophthalmology. And as you know, a prism is an optical device, but it's different than the lens. A prism bends the image, and if your eyeball is here, the eyeball will see the image displaced because the image was displaced. And the amount of power of this prism to displace at 100 centimeters in centimeters is the power of that prism. And the power we record as prism diopters. So a five prism diopter prism displaces five centimeters vertically at one meter. And so we can use these prisms both to measure and to displace images for clinical purposes. So if a patient has an esotropia and their eyes turned in, we would put the prism with the apex facing the deviation and we would do the cover, uncover test and the alternate cover test until the eyes cease to move. When the eyes don't move anymore, we know that that particular power of prism was enough to neutralize the deviation. And then we record this esotropia. Eyes turned in. And so we're going to record this number as 45 prism doctor esotropia. And the same can occur with exotropia. We would put the base in and the apex out and hypertropia towards the higher eye. So when we're recording deviations, we want to do a prism cover test, a prism alternate cover test. This will measure in prism diopters the deviation, and it's an optical device that displaces the image towards the base, and therefore the image appears to be in a different location. And the power is measured by the amount of displacement that occurs at one meter, a prism diopter.